to this area because it's really amazing. Okay. Like they're like the layout is really nice. You can't really see it, but it really feels like a nice environment to just play Smash. Yeah, it's a good group of guys that come here as well. You know, it says it's a. Uh... I've only been coming here, I guess it's like, we now hit like three months now. And I'll tell you, I've made some friends here. Like, I actually have friends that here that I didn't know three months ago. So, if you've been thinking about coming out and you haven't, I can tell you, you probably should. It's a lot of fun. So, so anyway. It's going to be Brian Righty G versus Kenny, Kenny. K. Yeah, man. And, uh, you know, you got to get that Pikachu Jigglypuff. You got to get that, gotta get that uh, Pokemon matchup going. Yeah, like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure in the game, what do you think? Does Pikachu win in the actual game for... In terms of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, th I think in both Pokemon and in uh, this matchup, I, I, would take, I would take the Pikachu over. That being said, uh, these two players, on the other hand, you know, you got arguably Ooh. RBA's best, Brian, wow. who just missed the rest. That's always one of the dangerous Jiggly from. Yeah, he actually almost killed him, but that was good DI by YDG as he was able to get out of that without killing him, though. I really like the out-of-shield options that Kenny K is using. Like, he used Nair out of shield, close to YDG, mm -hmm. and, like, it was hard for him to punish. That's why he missed the rest, I yeah. feel like. It's one of those things that Pikachu has. His lag, his downtime is so small in the majority of his moves. So, he just doesn't like to do good down B for the kill there. The yeah. Thunder. Kenny K has been looking for that, uh, I believe, every stream match I've watched, and he has not been able to get it because he has, wasn't able to read the air dodges as well. Yeah. But I like how he got it this time. Ooh, did you see that? Like, he did the upbeat twice. He's not trying to get hit. Like, no. Not, not at he's, all. He's using his quick attack really well to space himself, get some, like, little poke damage in without putting himself in range of all of Jimmy Puff's great aerial moves. So, really well played by Kenny so far. IDG tried to ledge trump him with great timing, but Kenny K was actually ready for it. Like, he just jumped back right on the stage. It's worth noting that these two are actually friends. They play each other quite a bit in friendliness from what I hear. Oh, they do. Hmm? So right, like, I feel like YDG was trying to chase him off stage, but so far every time he's trying to admit his present, he hasn't gotten everything. Ooh, Ooh. good back here. I can't believe that didn't kill. I thought yeah. that had it. Good DI by Kenny. Yeah, it is good. Can you get back? Yeah. I mean, hey, I guess when you're a high enough level Pikachu player, you're going to get back from that. That, uh, that quick attack is covering a lot of ground. I also feel like the up B, like quick attack in general, has gotten a little better. Like, there's like the angles that were hard to do before feel like a little bit easier to do. It's Pikachu. definitely its best iteration in the game. I completely agree. It did not feel that smooth in Brawler Melee. Like sometimes you could like do a diagonal down and then diagonal back up, and now most people just did upright because it was so hard to do. Yep. <laughs> so Brian is putting himself out there. You can kind of tell he's, he's really going for that back air for the win. Ooh, the dash attack traded with L Smash. That's a very weird interaction there. Yeah, it's one thing that one thing that is deceptive about Pikachu is his dash attack is much stronger than I think most people realize. With the rage that Pikachu currently has, a dash attack might actually ooh, there it goes with up smash. So why did you just barely miss the timing to do the F smash? And luckily for Pikachu, a lot of his smash attacks don't have that much in there. No, they don't. <laughs> that up smash is unreal. That up smash comes out so quick and there's no downtime. Yeah. Anything like if you if you say the word up when it comes to Pikachu, it's just the move you're going to do. <laughs> up tilt, up smash, uh, up B, his quick attack, man, all of them. They're just all amazing moves. Now that uh, you mention that, that is very true. When you think about all the buttons, you probably could see Kenny K hold like, yeah. up on this controller. The his whole up time. tilt, if you're at zero, <laughs> can get you at least 25 to 30 damage. His up smash is a move with no downtime. His up air, he can do two per jump. So you can get four in a jump cycle. His up B is unreal. Yeah, Pikachu and the up button are like bread and butter, man. So the switch to Lucario is very interesting to YGG. I know he has an arsenal of characters, like so many characters that he can choose from. Yeah. And whatever he's feeling, you know, I feel like that's best for him. This is one of my favorite ones that he pulls out, actually. You know, I've got quite a bit of experience watching Brian play over the last few months. But Lucario is a huge one. Uh, because as people know in the game, you've got the rage function in this game, which I think is a great addition. I really like the concept of the rage. Right. Lucario still has his aura, and they stack. So a Lucario at like 150 is just the most absurdly strong person. So you can look like you're doing terribly in an early match. Like right now, Brian looks like he's not doing very well. But just give him some time. If that Pikachu can't get the kill off, then this is terrifying. Exactly you can die like at 70% to a raging aura filled Lucario. Did you ever see uh, Paragon Smash 4 where there was this Lucario who made like top 32, I think? And he was using B reversals and he was playing against Gimmer. Oh, really? Like, I feel like if YDG can add that to Arsenal, 
like you can cover his back a little bit and bait people to do different options, like maybe roll. I mean, like he's probably not gonna do that because it's not in his head. But that right there, I feel like he's gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Ryan put it in the wrong direction. Oh, that pressure by Kenny K. It is, it is. I'm sure that's killing Brian though, because he had that kill if he had done the uh, force push in the right direction. If I was in Kenny's head right now, I know he did that up smash because he was so close to hitting YG's shield. Maybe he kind of shield poked it at that point. Mm -hmm. Wow, that made no sense. His thunder jolt. His thunder completely <laughs> stops it. Yep. Yeah. It's a really, it's a really <laughs> nice uh, move there. He almost hit him. As, wait, do you know if everyone, all the characters have a one frame where they are invulnerable after sweet spotting? Or is that just like for characters like Sheik? Because I know a uh, can be punished at like the one frame as soon as he steps the leg. But some people are good at doing it. Yeah, I'm not actually sure. Uh, I'd imagine that's some pretty, I'd imagine that's a uh, Sheik kind of thing and not an everybody kind of thing. Just purely from the way that her RP works with the Vanish. All right, Kenny K grabs the ledge, was looking for the dare. Ooh, it's yeah, but that's the thing. Ooh, there it is. That's a great back air. That's one of those things. Uh, once you get above, uh, it's, people probably know this, but one thing about Lucario is that his up B also gains distance the more he's hurt. He could literally be off the screen down in the bottom corner and probably get back to the screen nowadays. Yeah, and I'd like to point out, I really like how YDG was so aware of that situation and took his stock right there. Like, it was, yeah. like, it may seem like it was so simple, but that takes a lot of awareness oh, just to The ledge trump back air is not an easy thing to learn. It takes a lot of work. Yeah, some, like, people already know, like, ledge trumping has been in the game for so long. People know what options they can mix up with. So it makes it even harder to even get that kill. This is a great early game right there. This is a great second stock right now by Kenny so far. Kenny's playing a lot more aggressive like. Yeah. You see how many up players up there and bears he is throwing out there? Ooh, he actually got the counter off. Jesus, how many times do you see a counter get off in these kind of things, man? That's a rarity. Yeah, like Kenny, Kenny, as I was saying, like just a few seconds ago, he was going so aggressive, and I think YDG was a very well aware of that. Yeah. It's uh, it's worth noting now though that now that he's at 100, he's hit his second level of aura, and he's also hit a rage area. So now he's starting to hit that area where he just starts snowballing real hard if you make any kind of mistakes. Oh. So you I mean look at that force push with 16 damage and knocked him halfway across the map. Now that might actually kill that's a good look look at this. Look at that down smash. That Pikachu was at 16 that almost killed him. And it's so good because YDG isn't even failing any of his moves there. So he's like making sure that all his kill options are just so viable. He's doing a very good job. This is really anyone's match. They're both at a kill. Oop. Ooh. Okay. Oh, so that does it. That's goodness gracious. I'm I felt like Kenny K was trying to read a roll, so that's why he went for that up smash. Yep. But Brian did not give it to him at all. Nah, that was dude. Really good. That by was him. that was an incredible. You know, after going down early sixty percent, that's the thing about Lucario. <laughs> like it's, it gets a bit of a redundant statement, but you can go. You always want, you always want to kill your opponent, obviously. But there's no opponent that you want to kill more than Lucario. <laughs> the second Lucario gets to 120, and you're just sitting there, he's got a force push that goes halfway across the map, and I think will kill you at 70 if you're a light character like Pikachu is. It's terrible. Yeah, I think I might have actually seen Tofu plays YDG's Lucario and how much he was, he might have been a little flustered of how easy it is to kill these characters. Like Lucario's against Sheik, against Pikachu, they're so light. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's <laughs> sorry, I uh, zoned out there for a second, but yeah, it's definitely an interesting thing. If I remember correctly, Lucario gets his first bit of aura, like he starts getting that little bit of strength at 40. 40 is the first damage where he gets it. Wow, is that with both of them stacked, or is that just how most? Is that just Lucario in general? Because I feel like most characters don't even get that rage stacked into. No, yeah, rage. Ooh, boo! There you go. Rage starts at 80 for characters. That's where, yeah, that's where Rage starts kicking. That's that's a universal. Uh, Lucario's aura, where you get strongest from being more damaged, starts at 40. Uh, so he gets his first bit. So at 80%, he's getting both aura and Rage going. So he gets that double dip on that power spike. Yeah, and Kenny right now is really controlling the stage. Like, every option that YGG is doing to get out of center stick, get from Ooh, center stage. What a cool. Oh, man. That was, yeah, that was a really good counter. I, I'm shocked at how many counters he's getting. Lucario's counter is not easy to use. It is not the best counter in the game. He's got a couple of good like, oop, 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 oop. Ooh, He's not it? dead, though, because good Didn't kill him. Yep. 
So the problem here when YDG was taking so much damage is because Kenny, like, see how he's sitting in the middle of the stage? Great and just, yeah, he prevented all the approaches right there and there. Yep. Like, YDG is really going to have to really focus on his stage control right now. Because that's, that's how Kenny's beating him. Oh, man. Yeah, that was a really good job for Kenny to just kind of combo that, follow that through, and get that huge, raging, like, I don't know, what is this part of like a dog kind of monster? This Pokemon matchup isn't even in Pikachu's favor in the video game. Shouldn't be doing all this. <laughs> Whoa, that was a good joke, Kona Bro. Is this Pokemon tournament? I actually don't even know about that game. Like, I heard about it, but people were, like, making some good and bad stuff. Might be a love it or hate it game. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, I can't believe that actually killed. Holy hell. That's 76%. That was outrageous. Nothing, bro. man. Yeah, that's the aura right there. Oh Ooh, my you... god, I can't believe that killed. So, no. Oh, that was great oh. conversions by Kenny K. Every option, like, good. He Jeez. read the high recovery, he read the middle recovery, and then just forward smashed him. Like, that was really nice. I mean, that's that's impressive. That's, a, that's one of the favorites of the tournament, not fishing in the top eight right there. That's really... I mean, if you wanted to know about how stacked this week was here, man, case in point, Kenny over Brian, 2-1. Right. That isn't even two out of three. It's 2-1 that he beat him, not three out of five. This week.